A little bit of torque on this girl. Yeah, this thing just goes. I mean, I'm barely touching. I'm not flooring it by any means, but uh, wow, very torquey. Very Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Peter's Auto Block. Hope everybody's having a fantastic day. Very excited that today we're gonna get to review this fifth generation Ford Super Duty truck. Now, before we go on, guys, wanna give a big shout out to Barto Ford for allowing me some time with this Super Duty. Very thankful to them. And I'll put a link to their website and all their information in the description below. Now, this one that we have here with us is a 2023 Ford F350 XLT model, of course, this is a super crew with, of course, the dual rear wheels. Uh, this one is equipped with the eight foot bed, as most of these dualies are visually equipped. Now, this is a lo awesome looking truck. This one's done in Oxford white with the uh, dark cloth interior house being more of a base XLT model. Now, of course, out uh, for 2023, Ford has kept basically all the models, you know, starting from the XL, XLT as this one is. We got the Laria, we got the King Ranch. We also have the uh, Platinum and the limited model as well. Uh, the base pricing for the 2023 uh, Ford F Super Duty started around $44,000 for the XL, all the way up to a dually like this, but in limited trim for roughly over $103,000. So you get a wide, wide range of broad, a wide, broad range of uh, configurations and prices as well. So tons of price difference, obviously six figure uh, Ford F F450 to a regular more of a $44,000 or mid forties uh, F250. So. Sorry guys, what are the changes for the 2023 or the fifth generation Super Duty? Now, of course, being the front styling here, as you can see, guys, we got the different front styling. Now, this one's not equipped with the LED lighting here. This is basically your standard halogen lights being the more of a base XLT model, but you can also update it. Basically, you can upgrade the lighting to any of the models as well. Uh, this one doesn't have, you can see we got a bit of chrome here as well in different type of grill. There's seven grills that Ford actually gives you for the new Super Duties, depending on the trim and model. This is just basically your kind of your base XLT model. Uh, uh, really nice what they've done. I really like the stunning. Of course, here on the side, we have a functional side vent as well. Here we have the F350 logo with the XLT. Now, this is functional as you can see. We got the 6.7 liter power stroke name there as well. Ford here logo on the mirror, which can extend and also fold in as well, which is really nice feature. Now, this one does not have a step here. Unfortunately, it's pretty, pretty high. Uh, this one is equipped with the FX4 package, so it's a little bit of a trick to get inside if you're a little bit short. You gotta kind of jump in. Definitely, this would definitely benefit from standing you know, with running boards or a, or a, you know basically a step. You know? So here we got for, for the exterior for the 23 inch. You can see we got the side steps now that are really functional for this truck, which are really nice. We got some different lighting now, different uh, marker lighting. As you can see, we got another step here in the back. We have kind of a little bit of step here in the back as well, where you connect your hitch and everything here. Um, Basically, this, stop, this duplicates on this side as well. As you can see the different lights here for the 2023 models, a bit of LED, light, LED lighting here in the back. Really, really nice what Ford has done, especially this, for this uh, dually model here that we have with us. So being the FX4 package, this one is equipped with a little bit lighter, more off-road or all-terrain tires. These are Michelin 245 millimeter tires. So of course, you got two of them here in the back, 17 inch wheels, which is a really nice chrome wheel. As you can, this one you can go all the way up to about 19 and a half inch on the F450s so if you do that. So really nice because this one is equipped with the eight foot bed as you can see we got a rear um, windows here as well and of course being the four doors on this one it's really really nice for what four has done i really like the styling of this set for this new uh, super duty is really really yeah. nice now in terms uh, of uh what's new for basically the truck we got a brand new engine for 2023 um we have basically a 6.8 liter 
not only has Brady V8 with about 400 horsepower, and we also have the engine on this one here, which is the it's basically your regular 6.7 liter uh, power stroke diesel V8. Now this one is the high output version of it, which is produces 500 horsepower and 1200 pound feet of torque, which we'll look at in just a few moments. But a uh, fantastic truck nonetheless. Guys, this is basically the biggest things for 2023 besides the styling, a couple of new uh, engine choice for the super for the power stroke, and of course the new 6.8 liter V8. Now of course interior wise, we got 5G available now with the trucks we got a lot of uh basically towing uh new options you can now and now one of the biggest things you can do is uh put pro power in the back of the bed you can actually put a pro power switch up you can actually put two kilowatts of pro power now on this truck so you can put a nice little hook in the back let's go ahead and uh drop the tailgate on this one they got no type of uh, system no you have to hold it so as you can see guys eight foot bed here this one is equipped with some led lighting which is an option here and uh, but lots of space here no protection on this one at all or anything like that but nowadays now you can option off a two a kilowatt pro power which gives you basically connections here or plugs into plugging your or your electrical stuff your accessories and not so this is really, that's really a really nice option and because before on the fourth generation there was no connections at all anywhere you can get anyone as an option so as you can see guys we also for 2023 now you can put a step here which is really cool you can add a step and this one does have a ruler here as you can see if you want to measure anything here in the truck which is nice so but the truck the the, the, the truck uh the door is pretty light it's not too bad of a heavy and it locks in pretty well we got a rear reverse camera now i think for 22 we do also have another camera here that's optional that you can i think it goes here so when you have basically your or that goes here or basically when you have your bed uh, door down there's a the camera here as well that projects to the back to help you with the trailer towing or anything like that in case you're carrying a lot of stuff that's a cool feature they have as well uh, a, lot, a lot of new things especially for technology that the new f super duties have so in terms of payload capacity of course this one this one being a dually with a big high put in high put engine you're looking at about five thousand pounds of payload capacity depending on the trims and all that stuff and we'll look at inside of the sticker and also of course guys here for towing of course this has got your fifth wheel as well being a dually and of course conventional towing i believe conventional towing is about 30,000 pounds and about 33,000 pounds with the fifth wheel on this configuration i'll put all those numbers for you guys up a little more but as much i can find up on the screen for you but these are definitely the kings for heavy duty and i know this there's a dually with a single cap can tow up to about 40,000 pounds which is crazy numbers for towing so if you know if you're going more of a commercial like a ford f550 650 those are much more basically big box trucks this is still pretty pretty awesome the, the notion you can tow 40,000 pounds basically on a basically just a you know a street super duty so, so as you can see guys this one is with the fx4 package that gives you basically underneath skip plates for the gas tank and the transfer case you also have retuned shocks for off-road and also that includes of course not only the decals but also hill descent for off-road and of course these tires are also a little more aggressive for uh, using for off-road before we go inside let's take a look at the sticker as you can see this one might have some price adjustment to it but let's go ahead and take a look at the sticker of this 2023 ford f350 as you can see guys this one an Oxford white with a medium dark slate cloth interior of course 6.7 high output power stroke uh, engine now this one here being the XLT model is a 12,000 $495 option now the base price for this XLT is dually the way it is is $56,610 uh, of course we got a 10 speed auto torque shift which is no charge now, this is equipped with the all terrain tires 165 you got the limited slip axle for 85 we'll also have uh, the weather, weather floor mats for $130 $495 for the FX4 package which is a pretty good deal uh, power sliding rear window is $405 $280 for the power scope trailer mirrors of course these mirrors come up and down and they also uh, uh, fold in as well uh power scope trailer tow mirrors this was basically the trade as i mentioned uh forge aluminum wheel six hundred dollars sixty dollars for the bed lighting 410 amp alternator this one is equipped with well, instead of the 290 i think you get we also have a remote uh, star system for 250 and the cloth seats which are not bench seats basically uh basically a 40 console 40 seat for 300 dollars so for a total price of 74,185. but but to for those have a small price adjustment on it of five thousand dollars for seventy nine thousand dollars just over $79,000 for this new fifth generation Super Duty. So, all right, let's go ahead and check out the power stroke of this F350. Coming here to the hood of this Super Duty truck. And of course, guys, we got hydraulic shocks. Thank you for, for putting those. So here we have 
the 6.7 liter power stroke turbo diesel v8 now this is producing 500 horsepower and 1200 pound feet of torque of course that's going through the 10 speed torque ship automatic transmission and of course this has got a 4x4 system uh, in it so you got plenty of torque all-wheel drive in this baby for 2023 you have the two versions of the diesel engine the regular engine there's the regular non-high output engine of the 6.7 liter which is about 475 and 1050 pound feet of torque of course you got the 7.3 liter v8 with about 475 horse 425 horsepower and we have the new 6.8 liter normally aspirated v8 with 400 horsepower that's probably the options i'll put all those information all those engines guys up here on the screen but this one here you guys is the best and the most toughest engine i think there is on any heavy duty uh any truck you know considering chevy or ram uh 1200 pound feet of torque is a ton the government doesn't publish any type of food consumption but you're probably looking at about 15 17 miles per gallon depending on how i believe this truck holds either 34 gallons of uh of diesel or 38 depending on the option awesome. you get. So, so i had to drop this down and uh head up to the so front right, coming here to the back guys not much of a change here in the back as you can see we got a bit of a leather we got a bit, a bit of gray trim here as you can see all that's more of a base xlt truck you still got your base stuff you can put the seats up here as well that hasn't changed for anything at all we've got some accessories that this comes with of course the rubber floor mats we got here the cloth seats which got a little bit bigger pockets here we have also some usb connections we got 12 volts and also we have a 12 12 volt connection and uh, also a power jack here 400 watt house connection there with ac outlets here in the back couple of cup holders you can see guys really really nice over so you can see we've been inside of this f-250 so it's really really nice and very comfortable lots of space to work here in the back so as you can see we got the seat belts here really nice of course we get the rear window as well now this one's not equipped with the power sunroof which is an option which i would love to get but uh really nice comfortable truck as well this is more of your kind of your work truck more of a regular truck uh but it's really really nice equipped we got some handle wash here as well uh, so I mentioned there's no steps or any type of running boards on this one there's just a little tougher to get inside especially for you know I'm, obviously i'm not a young guy but obviously it's not easy to get in uh, on this truck since it's a little a little bit a little higher considering it's got the fx support package so but there we go guys there's the back of this f350 all right so here we have the interior of this f350 super duty so you can see guys a bit of leather here on the elbow rest of which we get a bit of gray trim here a lot of black bugs or gray plastics all over lots of space to put your stuff here as you can see we got a speaker here controls for your mirrors and of course the extension of your mirrors here and, and windows coming down here guys of course we got this is like a six-way power seat because obviously you got still some manual adjustments on this really base seat we got all just manual seats on the passenger side so coming here we do have an adjustable steering column we do have all controls for your lights and of course the mirrors here the lights for the mirrors as well we got a a little american flag here as well so for it's kind of dropping in those easter eggs on this super duties now of course this one is equipped with the um of course, here we got basically your handbrake as well here. No adjustable pedals in this at all. The adjust screen, this was not equipped. It's got a little four-inch screen here for, for all your information, but really nice interior Sorry overall. Sorry, so being uh, that this is not no step, and it's a little high, even though I'm about 5'11". You got to get kind of kind of jump your butt inside and get there, grab the sandals. So let's go ahead and all right, push you inside. Oh, boy. Yep, oh, it's not easy to get inside, but yeah, you definitely have to put some steps or a, or a running board on this. Let's go ahead and guys, and insert our key. Woof, nice sounding high output power stroke diesel, turbo diesel V8. So as you can hear you guys a little bit here. I know I don't like to be rev, but I can rev a little bit. Doesn't sound too bad, of course, being this power stroke diesel. Let's go ahead guys and close the door. Let's put on our seatbelt. All right, so here so we have we this 2023 Super Duty interior, guys, the revised interior of this super duty trucks i'm gonna just gonna pan out a little bit here as you can see you guys you can check it out as you can see we got of course a, a gray headliner here as you can see we got some led lighting here as well a little bit of space for your for your basically your glasses we got a rear mirror here as you can see but this being an xlt model of course it's more of a base model this has got the eight inch system four on it just with base things we got middle cubicle here uh, of course this is where the, where the 12 inch optional 12 inch screen will go uh, we got basically your hazard we got basically your brake control here we got uh traction control off and your hill descent so this is equipped with the fx4 package of course we got to do still your dual uh basically you do lock boxes here your lock boxes here super duty logo here as well a bit of aluminum here as you can see here a bit of a blank space here we got basic controls for your for your system here for your six speaker uh base system this basically you sync four it does have we don't have, we don't have any type of navigation or anything that we have just for an integration uh we do have some apps as well but you can also put in there i did touch that but obviously see mobile apps copper company android auto and other apps we do have some sentence here as well and of course we got towing here sunlighting we got 
towing overall map it was really really cool so we do have a backup camera as well. I don't know if I have a camera button here. So we've got your brake controller here as well. We got two-wheel drive high, two-wheel, four-wheel drive high, and four-wheel drive low. Uh, we also got some drive modes as well. Let's check them out real quickly here. Of course, we got normal. We got tow and haul. We got echo. We go back this way, and we got slippery roads and off-road as well. So those are basically the modes that we have. We're gonna leave it in normal. Now, as you can see, guys, this only got 4.3 miles, so it's a basically a brand new truck. Uh, and as you can see, guys, this is basically your analog instrumentation. There's a the little four-inch screen here, so you can also get the optional 12-inch digital screen as well on the Super Duties now, and of course the 12-inch screen here as well for your sync forces and all that. Of course. The New Sync 4 has river cameras. Uh, also got 5G connection now to make it much quicker to connect and to map out your trailer routes. Uh, a lot of things you can do. I'm going to put on the screen, guys, all the new options for 2023. What, what basically includes in the interior. Of course, you know the 5G is as well. They also got mapping if you want to throw. You have a, depending on your, your trailer size and all that, it gives you different mapping routes to make it easier for you. All kinds of great technology now that allow for this, you know, truck to be easier. Now, of course, you got more technology. You got 360 cameras. You got for collision, process, all all the wonderful things now that have newly been integrated into the super duty truck as well even in this dually so as you can see guys this one has uh, here in the bottom we got basically your manual controls for your radio of course we got the volume here it's got your basic speaker system which is not bad at all not a bad system. Uh, we got basically controls for seeking all that stuff. Here in the bottom, we got a single Sony C on this one. It's basically your base truck. Uh, nothing else, just a, basically your uh, single Sony C. We got here, here we got the brake controllers here you can adjust. We got also basically drive modes. We got four, two wheel drive high, two wheel drive, uh, four wheel drive high, and four wheel drive low. For base, for basically uh, modes, we have normal, we have slippery, and we have off road. If we go back this way, we have tow and haul, echo, and that's about it. So we're gonna just leave it in uh, normal mode, guys, as we're going. As you can see, only 4.3 miles on this one. And as you can see, we got your analog gauges here on this. You can also get basically the 12-inch 12, uh, 12 uh, LCD digital screen for the new, uh, for this 2023. So it's an option, of course, a 12-inch option as well for your navigation for Sync 4. This is Sync 4 as well, anyway. Uh, but really cool interior. I mean, really nice, as you can see here in the bottom, we got lots of storage space, a couple of USB connections. Obviously, down here, you can probably put an optional wireless charging for your phone. Little, cup, little cubicle here for your phone, as you can see couple of cup holders and we also have some more storage here as well that has a f-series establishing 1948 here we have basically your center console here with a little bit of leather lots of storage space here as well a couple of more usb connections there and auxiliary so really nice for this one this one does lots of accessories accessories you can see as well here we have basically another three prong connection 12 volt and of course your dual basically glove boxes as i mentioned before there's a little more cubicles here on the side a bit of aluminum trim here as well and uh, but overall really nice really nice interior of course here we got basically all your interior stuff over here your mirrors as well it's really cool so really nice well equipped truck here for about 70 something thousand dollars so guys, the shifter on. here also the shift gears as well but uh and of course here in the steering wheel if it's more of a base steering wheel basically plastic console here for your center screen as you can see we can scroll through here uh we go back to minute yes it is on on hauler mode or on transfer Transportation mode. Basically, we got a digital speedometer. We got uh, basically all types of uh, monitoring timers for the engine. We got miles per hour. We got, of course, in coolant uh, engine coolant temperature, all types of information you can get. All your base system. Not a lot, of, of course, in the system because obviously it's more of a base thing. But we're gonna leave it on basically in the mile per hour mode. All right, let's go ahead and go out for a touch. Let's go check out the rear view camera as well. So you can see, guys, this doesn't have the most quality. I know they have much better cameras, but the camera's not bad at all. As you can see, guys, we got you can basically zoom down as well to your hitch there for base, and of course, you got it pretty clear. It's obviously not the most that Ford has, but I know when you get a bigger 12-inch screen, you might get a little bit better camera quality. I don't know, but it's not bad at all, as you can see, guys. There, so uh, not bad for the camera. Let's go ahead and put this back on drive because we got 10 speed automatic transmission and i can see nobody coming this way real quick here make sure so you know guys this is a big truck it's about 15 16 feet long i can't remember exactly uh but let's go ahead guys and go out and drive this girl here be careful with this ford bronco sport here that's sitting here and uh, we'll wait here for these people to go by so, all right let's go ahead, guys and check out how good this thing drives with the high output 500 horsepower power stroke diesel va guys so really nice truck obviously it is a big truck it is you know obviously you know it's kind of intimidating to drive something this big as long but it's pretty comfortable it doesn't you know it's not a bad truck to drive to be honest so let me just put the seat up a little bit here all right let's go ahead guys and get this girl on the road it's got a lot of quite a bit of uh, stickers here and gotta be careful with this guy because you never know florida drivers are a little bit crazy 
I'm not barely pro and you can just feel the torque so smooth. All right, guys, as you know, I've driven the prior generation 6.7 liter power stroke diesel, of course, in the fifth, fourth generation. Now, this one here does feel a little bit smoother, to be honest. Um, very seamless transmission, for sure. We're in normal mode, and, uh, you know, it feels very nice. We're doing 60 already. I can't even, can barely tell this thing is moving at all. Uh, it's such a big truck. I mean, uh, th the suspension is obviously truck, but truckish but stable this is what's that it's pretty smooth but wow really nice truck very quiet too let's check out the brakes a little bit so uh, there's a brand new pads so obviously they haven't even been bended in yet a little bit but that's got some good uh just check out obviously this is no handling truck but we check out the steering yeah it does it's not the greatest steering it's pretty slow but basically that's just the way of you know this type of super duties are uh, but for Toy, it feels very nice, very comfortable truck. The seats are very comfortable. Uh, everything's in your hand here, as you can see, guys. Uh, even though this is a smaller screen, everything's just pretty nice, really nice the way it is. The steering is pretty light. Uh, the mirrors are perfectly good. As you can see, you got plenty of, plenty of visibility, plenty of adjustment. Now, of course, this one is not equipped with the uh, Ford, you know, uh, you know, the 360 cameras or all the new stuff that, there's a lot of new stuff that Ford uh, has done into this, F, the F super duties, like pre-collision warnings, all that kind of stuff. Uh, I think there's something called now the, uh, you know, there's, yeah, there's something I'll put up on the screen for you guys, but lots of adjustments now for this truck. It's a lot of new technology, a lot of new safety features as well, uh, especially for trailers and stuff like that. Uh, you, you can you can detect or have an alarm on the truck or let you know if the trailer is being moved. Uh, if the truck is off something like that so uh let's go guys well yeah this thing is obviously you can feel the weight but revving this little f the yeah the torque is just look at how quick this thing just climbs and i'm barely touching this thing maybe 25 percent it just goes there's a ton of torque in this engine for sure uh, but obviously it's a big truck and it takes the whole lane obviously with these mirrors too oh I'll put a poor little bird there uh, but very very nice truck. I mean it feels comfortable. Isn't it obviously it's intimidating to drive especially this something this big uh, Suspension is pretty tolerant now. We got some bumps coming along. This is this is not perfect roads here um, But man, this thing feels nice. I mean a comfortable ride. Yes, it is even with this FX Sports I think that's FX Sport tune shocks definitely much better improvement over the regular shocks even on a Ford F-150 that I tested that limited model uh, This thing this thing rides better than that limited for sure. Um, even, even though it's a heavier truck, but, but uh, yeah, this feels more stable than that Limited for sure, that F-150 that I drove. Uh, but this XLT truck, guys, this fifth generation Super Duty feels very nice. I mean, this being more of a work truck, more of a commercial side of things of this truck, it feels great. Now, obviously, you can't get, for example, the Tremor package on this one, which is kind of obviously it's not the, the truck for that, but you can get the Tremor package on the rear, you know, single wheel ones, F-250s, F-350s, I think you can get them a... Uh, and uh, but uh, overall great truck. I mean, this stuff was really nice. The interior is very nice. The AC is cooling perfectly. Very quiet too. Pretty quiet. And the the turbo this has got so much torque. And the brakes feel very good. Very nice. Obviously the brand new brakes, so they need a little bit of uh, bending in, but uh, a bit of braking. But uh, this thing feels very nice. I don't think it's anybody coming. Uh, but let's wait a little bit anyway. But uh, yes, excellent interior, guys. I really like this interior. I do kind of prefer the styling of the older interior, uh, but this is still very nice overall, especially with the new 12 inch screen that I haven't checked out yet. So, uh, but just give it a little bit of white stance and let's put a little bit more torque on this girl. Yeah, this thing just goes. I mean, I'm barely touching. I'm not flooring it by any means, but uh, wow, very torquey, very lots, 1,200 pound feet of torque. Obviously, this is a 7,500 pound truck at least, and it un even unloaded with no weight. So, but man, wow, this feels this feels great. This type of torque, the to towing, yeah, you can tell this thing can tow a house easily. 40,000 pounds on a truck, not than this one specifically, but. Wow, that's a ton of pounds. I mean, I'm also, I think everybody's gonna be towing, maybe if you're towing a boat or something pretty decently heavy, maybe 15, 20,000 pounds. Suspension is, of course, a little bit more rough there on, on big bumps, but uh, overall, very good truck. Very nice Super Duty. As you can tell, guys, really, really nice the way this feels. So let me know what you guys think of this brand new 2023 Ford F350 dually truck. Fantastic, obviously it's not cheap, you're talking 70, what was it, 70 something thousand? 
$79,000 for this truck, so it's not cheap, and it's not only kind of a mid-based, mid-level truck. I can imagine the limited with is over $103,000. Well, wow, it's quite a bit of money for this truck nowadays. So, but let me know what you guys think of this Super Duty, guys. I'm sorry if it was a little more short notice. I do, I don't have a ton of time with this one here. So I'm gonna turn this back in about an hour and have to, to do the Spanish channel review. But I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of similar quick review. I'll put more. I'm gonna try to get another single wheel. Uh, Ford F-250 or another dually, whatever I can get my hands on another model uh, Probably a ladder yard or some limited uh, super duty guys, but I hope you guys enjoyed this Review of this 2023 F-350 dually truck with the high output Turbo diesel V8 plenty of power. I'm sure you can probably tell much of a difference obviously with the other diesel, but Definitely got another 150 100, This one has another 150 pounds more of torque which definitely helps out if you're towing definitely those 20 30,000 pounds plus so all right guys just back up a little bit here and uh yep the camera's not bad at all it's got some pretty good quality as well smaller screen that's kind of used to but there we go guys 2023 ford f-350 super duty really nice interior really nice in conclusion you know really nice truck ford has done a really well job a really nice job i do like the older kind of uh, the interior layout but this is not bad it works obviously it's really nice and everything's at your fingertips everything works very utilitarian yeah. sorry right, guys uh, thanks so much for watching thanks so much for being here with this video hope you guys enjoyed the, this review of this f-350 uh let me know if you have any questions here in the comments below comment guys let me know what you think of this truck if you guys think this is a worthy update or uh you know to these new fit generation uh super duty guys thanks so much for watching i really guys i really appreciate everybody watching and uh, we're almost at this time i checked almost about two subscribers below a thousand thank you so very much to all that have subscribed guys i really appreciate it and uh, if you haven't done it so guys subscribe uh you know hit the notification bell and uh, there was a lot more videos coming up guys especially more once i get to move and all that stuff since i've been a little bit low on videos this past few weeks uh there's some more coming up and it's gonna be you can just get much better for sure so thanks so much again guys hope you guys have a fantastic day and we'll see you on the next video take care bye bye